Penny whoops are cool. Indoors, outdoor, it doesn't matter where you're flying them, they are cool. The latest generation of tiny whoops are so capable that it's ridiculous. And me and my friends have been flying, comparing, and just enjoying some of the latest tiny whoop bind and fly from companies like Beta FPV and Happy Model. But what about building? I've never done a video building a tiny whoop, but that's gonna change today. The first step is to select the parts. I'll start with the new Beta FPV 5 in 1 all in one board that I have here, which is amazing. It has a flight controller, ESC, OSD. VTX and a serial Express LRS all in the same board and it only weighs 3.8 grams. It's also one of the first one with a G473 processor which seems to be quite powerful despite the size. And it comes with the power cable BT 2.0 with this 90 degrees connector here which is fantastic for this kind of drones. The length of the cable is already the right one for my tiny whoop and it also has this simple antenna that we're going to use in our build. Next are the motors and in this case I'm choosing this RC in power 0702 27,000 kV to test them in this build. I think they're going to be pretty cool and it's, they actually look fantastic these little motors. I'm gonna need a frame, a light frame, since I'm trying to keep as close to 20 grams as possible. I have the Mobula 6 frame here, and I also have a Beta FPV Air frame. Which one of these ones is gonna use? It will depend on the weight. If you look at the Happy Model frame, it's 3.2 grams, while the Beta FPV Air frame is 2.6, 2.5, which means I'm going to be using the Beta FPV frame. For the canopy, I have one from the Mobula 6 2024 and one from the Air 65 from Beta FPV. They are pretty similar. Both of them fits the camera that I'm gonna use perfectly. The weight is actually the same from both of them. So I'm choosing the Beta FPV just because of the color and I think it's gonna look better with the frame that I have chosen already. The last part is the camera. I have a few analog cameras laying around, but I really like the quality of the Beta FPV CO3. And I know that one comes with a plug that fit on this all-in-one car that I have chosen already. Building this tiny whoop can be seen as a simple thing if you think that you're just gonna have to solder the motors to the controller and the power cable to the controller. Or it could also be seen as a something that is quite difficult because the pads on this board are not the biggest one. And soldering there it's gonna be a bit of complicated. I'm really hoping that this bill is on the 20 grams. There are more things that you can do to lower the weight, but I'm gonna try to do it this way, very simple and just straightforward.
Now it's time for the propellers. I'm gonna choose something right now just to look good, but then I'm gonna test all of them to see which one gives me the best performance for my type of flying. Well, it's finished now. I think it's looking pretty good. It was a bit more difficult than what, what I was thinking in the beginning. Um, it was not just about soldering small pads, but like the negative on the power cable was a bit complicated to get in. Then I did a couple of mistakes because I connected the power cable on the, like on the wrong direction for the best setup. And I had to redo that again. Uh, and then I found something around the, the antenna. The canopy kind of hits the connector uh, a bit too much and I cut the canopy a bit so it's free the, the antenna connector there. I might add a drop of glue on that UFL connector but I can do it later. And for the weight I'm pretty satisfied with what I got under 20 grams. Now let's configure this thing. Let's see if it flies. I'm pretty happy how the drone turned out. I like it quite a lot. Flying, building was an amazing experience. And if you have never done this before, I would recommend it to you. As I said before, it was a bit difficult to do the soldering, but it's not much that you have to do. Four motors and one cable, that's it. And then you have this very nice drone and a very good time flying. This is what I have for you today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.